how these gates are and what are their functionalities. Describing a circuit functionality, let's start with an inverter. An inverter symbol is indicated as here with an input A and the output Y. The basic logic functions have the symbols. The truth table for A as the input and then Y as the output is indicated here. We can see that when a zero input is given, we get an output of one. That is, the input is inverted. And when a high input is given, we get a low output, which is indicated by a zero. The same functionality can be represented with truth tables. And this is completely specifying all the input combinations. The above circuit is an inverter. An input of zero is inverted to one and vice versa. And what exactly is AND gate? Having two inputs, A and B, let us see how it works. And we get uh, from, from the truth table the output Y. So when two inputs are for A and B are low, we get the output as low. And when one input is low, another is high, again an input output of low. And when one high and another low, again low. And when both the inputs are high, we get an ultimate output that is high. That is only a high state when, the bo when both the states are all high. That, that is nothing but an AND gate. So if two input signals are asserted high, the output will also be asserted. Otherwise, the output will be deasserted. That is low. Let us come on to the OR gate now. The functionality is a small difference with the input values and then the output values. Taking the same set of input values for A and B respectively, we have 0, 0, that indicates a low, then 0, 1, that is the low and the high, then 1, 0, and then correspondingly high values. The, input, the outputs for these inputs are low, high, 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 and that is nothing but an OR gate. So if either of these two input signals are asserted, or both of them are, the output will be asserted, which clearly indicates that if one of the inputs if it is high, it gives an output of high. And if both the inputs are high, again high. So for either case, we call it as an OR when we get a high output for even if the input is high for a one input. Describing the circuit functionality or the waveforms, let's see how these all work. So waveforms provide another approach for representing functionality. And the values are either high, that is a logic of 1, or a logic of 0, that is low. So can you create a truth table from these waveforms? Yes. An AND gate representation is shown here. And these are the input-output signals for all the gates, that is the AND, OR, and NOT. As we know, the AND operation is a multiplicative operation between the two inputs, X and Y. And the OR operation is the, we add an AND operator to indicate it is an OR operation. And not is nothing but an inverter operation that is a simple complement of whatever is the input.